Good day. The following presentation is going to show you how to use Neuromap to be your one-stop volumetrics and reserve package. We're going to be going over two different workflows. First being an ongoing development project where we already have some digital data and we want to quickly calculate our volume of some lease blocks and generate a report. The second workflow we're going to look at is if we have a new prospect map. We're going to have a hand-drawn map to scan in. We're going to digitize it, define the map scale, calculate reserves, and generate a reserve report. So here's our Neuromap application. When Neuromap was first developed, it was just a digitizing package, but it's turned into a very dynamic volumetrics, reserves, and planimetering tool as well. We're starting here with our map wizard. All of our products start with an easy start, so you can either look at or change your current project, digitize new, which we'll do in a moment, or open an existing, which we're going to do right now. So we're going to select from a project that we already have. We see that it's already been digitized. I'm going to turn on our calibration to see how that's looking. We can see that it's already been projected. We do use a standard blue marble projection system where you can set your map group, the system, the datum, or even create your own custom datum. If you select a calibration point, you'll see that it displays on your map. This has been calibrated in geodetic lat long. And so what we're going to do is quickly turn on the grid just to make sure everything looks OK. If something was terribly askew, we'd know that we need to fix our calibration before doing any volumetrics. So let's turn on our volumetrics tool. You can see you can set your map type. You can set your map scale, but in this case we already have it calibrated and projected so it's unnecessary. Now the map details. What's that, what that is used for is for the reporting. So it's just to add a nice header to your report. Well, since we're just going to do a quick volumetrics report, we don't really need all the details at this moment. A Neuromap comes with, of course, the Neurolog logo, but you can put in your custom logo as well. This shows the different selection modes. Right now, we're going to be working with our leases and our polygons. We support both the modified and basic methods of, of volumetric calculation. And so what we want to do is we're going to select our leases. You can either select directly from the map or from a list. So what happens now, it actually asks you if you want to save this, lease, this list for later. Where this is handy is if you have a map that has multiple lease blocks and you need to look at them in different combinations, you can save that list so you can recall it for um, use and get to look at your results. So we're just going to have these two. If you look under your areas, um, you can set your units of your contours and how you want your output to look. So this is a metric map. You'll see we want to select, we do support um, nine methods of volumetric formulas. And so you can select what you want shown on your report. So we're just going to do the trapezoid and pyramid at the moment. So to create the report, we want to include our volume calculations as well as our contour areas. We can either display the full details by lease or we can do the total. We support both text and HTML reports, and so, but we're going to look at the HTML first. So you can see the header of the information that I put in. It shows our map type and also the volumetric method. You see the leases. We chose to look at the details, so you see all the information for lease A and B as well as the total for all selected. We add a snapshot of the area um, to the report and we also show a breakdown of the method so that they can be um, calculated later. So what we want to do now is we're going to start with a brand new map. So we've scanned in a little hand-drawn map and we're going to select it here. Select the map type this is a petroleum map, but we do um, also support others. You select the name of your workspace. We're going to select, we know that we're going to capture ISOPEX, so we can all go ahead and select it here. And we have no need to set a projection since it was hand drawn. So what we want to do first is we need to actually digitize the map.
So as I said earlier, Neuromap was originally developed to be a digitizing package. So we've turned on our capture mode. And we're going to tell it that we're going to capture our ISA pack. So we'll start digitizing. So that's a zero contour. See it, you know, very nicely on this hand-drawn one. We'll use the auto tracing, but we have many tools as well when um, maps are a little bit more complicated where you can uh, do manual dig digitizing point to point or you can use a stream. You can also, you'll notice uh, while we're digitizing, you see the little marks after it's done. Any of those can be moved, they can be um, deleted, um, just for e easy, uh, you know, forming of your curves that you have. So we have a few more to do here. So that's our 50 foot and then I think our 60, 23, oh, 40 and 50, sorry, and our 40, and then we'll have one more. So what you're seeing here is that truly within a minute or under a minute, we've been able to uh, import in this log image and digitize it. Now we have one last thing to do before we start our volumetrics. And so we need to add the attributes. So in this case, is of course, is elevation. So what we want to do is we're going to do a selection group of ones in a sequential order. So we'll put in our 0 and our 10, and you'll notice below that it auto-calculates the rest of the elevations. Now there's still a couple that weren't covered in our selection group, but as long as there are at least two values um, by it, you can use those in your selection group, and it will auto-calculate those as well. All right, now we have everything calibrated, or everything digitized, and so let's go to our volumetrics again first. We're going to set the map type to our isopack map, and you'll see in this case the map scale is enabled since we don't have it calibrated. So according to our map, it's supposed to be 1 inch equals 1,000 feet. And we also have a little, we're going to add a little more detailed for our map details. Since we're going to do a reserve report, something that we're going to have to um, hand out and pass around, so uh, we want some more information. Now, the use of this, um, the map details here for the header of your reports, you can, that it comes with a standard set of fields, but you can add your own or delete as we did earlier. So we'll get rid of the unit. We'll go ahead and put in the full name. Once again, this one will have the Neurolog logo, but you could put in your own co company logo or no logo at all. So now in this case, we're going to be working with our contours um, as opposed to any leases or polygons. Again, we have the basic and modified methods, and we're going to select all of our contours. Now we want to see a few more of our formulas down here. So let's add and go select the Trap Pyramid and the Simpson to add to the list. So, and this one was actually, these were digitized in feet, and so we're going to change everything to more of an English report. Now you notice when you turn on the modified method, you see some of the hills colored. And so what that means is, since there's a common plate, um, it displays how we're going to have to redistribute the volume to make it more precise. See, the, the values are just a little bit different. Now we, in this case, we don't, let's go directly to the reserve, reserve report. Neuromap does come with some standard equations. You can set your map type, you can select your volume method, and what you'll notice below, above is you have your reserve parameters that you can add, and any change in a reserve parameter will automatically recalculate your reserves for your report. So here, if I change the gas yield to 1.8, you'll see that my numbers change just slightly. Now all of these equations that are shipped can all be edited or changed if you'd like. You'll see that the English is in blue and the metric is in green, so we do have equations for both for each. Um, here's an equation if you want to come and edit it. It shows how we came out to our output units using conversion factors and variables. You can also create your own equation from scratch. You can put it in whatever group you want, input units, create your equation, and go from there. 
What we're going to show in this presentation is just your very simple ISIP, your net pay map. So we're going to just show your oil and your gas reserves. And on this report, we want to display a different volumetric method. So we'll use the trap pyramid as, instead of the trapezoidal. You have the option to either display or not display your contour areas and equations. And once again, a text or an HTML report. So here's our report with our more detailed information at the top. It shows our contour areas, which have been color-coded, a, sh a snapshot of the map area, reserve parameters, the results that we received, and also the equation details at the bottom with the filled-in values. So what we've been able to very quickly do is we used an existing digitized map that was already projected and calibrated and did very quick lease volumetric calculation on it. We also used a hand-drawn scanned map and captured the ISOPAX and created a total reservoir reserve report. When purchasing any Neurolog product in Colluding Neuromap, training, consulting, and support are also a very big part of that. We do have a new training center in our Neurolog office in Houston, or you can schedule on-site training as well with customized classes using your data. We do have a dedicated support team that's available by phone, email, and online. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. We appreciate your time. Um, please take a look at our website to see if there are any other products that we could help you with. Thank you very much.